Hello, and welcome to the rigging tutorial for the SRX 900 series of line array products. Before attempting to rig an SRX 900 series array, always use JBL Line Array Calculator 3 to calculate cabinet angles and check the mechanical safety of the arrays. Once this is done, the array parameters can be transferred through a QR code to the ArrayLink mobile application, ensuring the crew has all the relevant information in the field. Both the SRX906LA and SRX910LA products have identical rigging systems and follow the same steps for deployment. To start rigging an SRX910LA array, remove the top cap of the vertical transporter and then the cover. For an SRX 906 LA array, open the cases and set them aside. Each enclosure has two fixed points at the front for connecting cabinets and a simple mechanism at the rear for setting the cabinet to cabinet splay angle. Facing the rear of the cabinet on the right side is an angle selection pin and a link pin used for connecting cabinets together. The left side has a stop pin, which is used after speakers are suspended to stop cabinets from collapsing in configurations where arrays are in compression. Setting angles is easy. Simply remove the angle selection pin, which is usually in the storage position, and slide the link bar vertically so that the indicator mark is aligned with the intended angle. Once aligned, reinsert the pin into the corresponding hole. 12 angle positions are available, up to a maximum cabinet-to-cabinet -cabinet splay of 12 degrees. Cabinet angles must always be set starting from the top cabinet and working downward. This ensures clearance for the link bars to move to the correct positions. The array frame must be connected to the top of the first stack once its angles are set. To ensure that the array frame sits level with the top cabinet, the angle of the first speaker should always be set to 0.5 degrees. This position is marked as AF on the rigging label. SRX 900 array frames are made up of two separate components, the spreader bar and the extension bar. The two-part design makes them very compact, lightweight, and easy to store. The spreader bar always connects to the front of the top speaker, and the orientation is critical for correct deployment. Follow the label at the top to ensure the correct side faces forward. Pin the spreader bar to the top cabinet using the correct A, B, or C hole on both sides. These positions are used for higher resolution in single-point rigging configurations. Next, connect the extension bar to the spreader bar using the two pins, one from each side. Depending on the required angle, the extension bar can attach to the rear or front of the array. Pin the link bar of the top cabinet to the extension bar using the same A, B, or C hole that was used at the front. All of the extension bar mechanical details, including the center of gravity adjustment, orientation, and shackle position, are available in the Array Configuration tab of the Line Array Calculator 3 application and in the Frames section of the Array Link mobile application. Next, connect the hoist and lift the first stack off the ground. As the hoist lifts, each cabinet will expand to the selected angle. Be aware that the cluster may swing forward as it lifts off the ground. Stop lifting when the array is suspended a short distance off the ground. Ensure that the cabinets are fully extended and move the stop pins into their positions. Disconnect the case bottom or VT by first removing the front pins. Next, remove the stop pin and unhook the rear mounting arm. Remove the link pin to prepare to connect the next stack of four cabinets. To continue building the array, roll the next stack of cabinets into place below the suspended cluster and set the angles. Lower the array until the front attachment points make full contact and secure the stack at the front with two pins. Use the hoist to lift the array, and be aware that the cluster may swing forward as it lifts off the ground and the cabinets expand. Ensure that the cabinets are fully expanded, and insert the stop pins of the bottom stack of cabinets.
Grab the rear handlebar of the transporter and pull backward while lowering the array until the front wheels touch the ground. Continue lowering the array until the rear attachment points are drawn close together and insert the link pin. Lift the array off the ground, insert the stop pin, and remove the VT or case bottom. Repeat these steps until the entire array is completed. Once the array is complete, the final step is to store the transporters and cases. In the case of the SRX910LA, the vertical transporters can be pinned together for storage. To do that, first prepare the VT top by inserting the pin to the correct position on the link bar. Then slide the VT top onto its bottom and use the opening at the top to align the two together. Once aligned, pin the front connection points. Multiple transporters and covers can be stacked together for storage. For the SRX906LA, simply close the cases. Thank you for watching. For additional information on the SRX900 rigging system, refer to the SRX900 series rigging manual.